Welcome to today's episode of Authentic Walk with God. In continuation of our emphasis on God and God alone, we want to discuss briefly the topic, God is the giver of every good gift. Please go with me to the Old Testament book of Zechariah chapter 10. I will read from verse 1 and end at verse 5 for today's main Bible text for our discussion. I read, Ask the Lord for rain in the springtime. It is the Lord who makes the storm clouds. He gives showers of rain to men and plants of the field to everyone. The idols speak deceit. The viners use visions that lie. They tell dreams that are false. They give comfort in vain. Therefore, the people wander like sheep, oppressed for lack of a shepherd. My anger burns against the shepherds, and I will punish the leaders, for the Lord Almighty will care for his flock, the house of Judah, and make them like a proud horse in battle. From Judah will come the cornerstone, from him the tent peg, from him the battle bow, from him every ruler. Together they will be like mighty men, trampling, trampling the muddy streets in battle. Because the Lord is with them, they will fight and overthrow the horse men. In this Bible passage, Prophet Zechariah assured the people of Judah that authentic care came from God and not from idols, not from false prophets, and, and not from human leaders. He invited the people of Judah who belonged to God to ask for rain so that their crops might grow. They were to ask for this rain from God, the creator, owner, and sustainer of the universe, but not from any idol or any created being. Zechariah made it very clear to the people of Judah that the provision of their needs lay in the hands of the Almighty God, not in the hands of idols and their worshippers. He discouraged them from consulting oracles, diviners, courtes, and false prophets. No matter how desperately in need of rain they were, he said it was only Yahweh, the only true God, who was capable of sending rain in due season to water their crops and make the crops grow and bear fruits for bountiful harvest. So he said to the people of Judah, Ask the Lord for rain, but do not ask idols of, or those who serve them. He said to the people, The idols you go to speak deceit through those who serve them. The result of trusting sources other than God, according to prophet Zechariah, was that the people wandered like sheep or prayed for lack of a shepherd. This situation will bring God's anger against false shepherds and false leaders. Zechariah told these Jews not to pray to the clouds or to the stars for rain. He said to them, pray only to God because he alone made the rains. In your hours of need, my brother, my sister, which man or woman of God do you run to? And what conditions does he or she tell you to fulfill before God will meet your need or needs? Is this man or woman of God an oracle of God like Zechariah? Or is he or she like one of Ahab's 400 hired and paid prophets who prophesied falsely to him to capture Ramoth Gilead? This event is recorded in 1 Kings chapter 22, verses 6 and 7. Um, read this passage when you have time. In most cases in our present society, 
Many privileged individuals do not want to listen to prophet markers of our day because they are afraid to hear the truth. Instead, they look for those whom they will feed to tell them the things they want to hear, which in most cases lead to their downfall and possibly their death. In today's Bible text, uh, Prophet Zechariah admonishes us to always go to God in our moments of need because God genuinely cares for us. He will give us every good gift and put us on the road to true success and prosperity. God will not defraud us, he will not deceive us, and he will not leave us impoverished because uh, these behavior threats are not included in his nature and personality traits. Instead of taking from us, he will give us everything we need in his due time. If you allow God to control your life and circumstances, everything you need will come at his due time and you will be satisfied. Yes, the rains will come in their due season in your life. Do not be in a hurry and do not run to those who will cheat you, defraud you, and leave you poorer and more traumatized than we initially went to them. Please stop running health and scatter, looking for quick solutions to your problems and uh, unethical ways to meet your needs. In most cases, these short calls and ungodly ways turn out to be elusive or disappointing. Stop running to false prophets, fake pastors, and cultists who deceive. Stop running to diviners whose visions are lies. Stop running to dreamers whose dreams are false. And stop running to the so-called comforters whose comforts are vain. If you go to them and stay with them, you will go from one level of misery and sorrow to another level. Your misery will not end. Toying with this group of people is like going into lottery or casino. You may record an initial alluring gain, but you will eventually lose it and also lose everything else you have at home. Please run to God only. He is the only one who is able to supply you rain in your moments of drought. Certainly, God is the giver of every good gift, and he does not disappoint. It has been your friend and brother, Peter Nemadin Don Wachuku, Director of Center for Family Life and Pastoral Care of Warren, Nigeria, praying for God's constant reign in your desert. Until next week, have a very fruitful day and very fruitful days ahead this week.